My name is Ojo Isaac, the manager of Presta Royal Concept, an accounting software company located in Ikeja, Lagos. In this video, we are going to show you how to post cash purchases in Sage 15. How to post cash purchases. What is cash purchase? Cash purchase is a situation whereby you go to the market to buy direct from the market. Some people call it open market purchases or direct market purchases. That is cash purchases. You buy with money, with the raw cash, instead of using check or rather transfer. Sometimes transfer can also be recorded as cash purchases if it is immediate transfer. So how do we record it? This is how we record it in C15. Let's follow this step. These are the steps. First of all, let's look at our case study and look at the question that is arising there. This is cash purchase. Look at it. Cash purchase. This is what we are going to treat down. We have one question there. On the 23rd of January 2020, Ebony Conglomerate bought five pieces of compact laptop from IT World with 275,000 Naira cash and the invoice number 05. 05422 WC 05423. Okay, so that is how the question is. Okay, let's go to C50 and post. So this is C50. You go to tax menu. From the tax menu, you click on Purchase slash receive inventory. This is the window you are going to use for it. Yeah. So from the display, you click on the drop down arrow there in order to capture the vendor. And the vendor is uh, who? IT World. Click on IT World. This, uh, this is IT World information. 57 Baby Street, Aja. And the invoice of the transaction, the invoice date of the transaction, the date is uh, on the 18th. I, can, I will select that. The due date can be also be 18th because we are going to pay now, not June again because it is uh, back up with a uh, uh, effective payment. So 18. Now the invoice number. We are giving invoice number. Let's go there. 05423 05423 05423 05423 that invoice number this is invoice number from the vendor's document you know the vendor is going to give you his or her invoice and also a receipt for that uh, purchase so after you have done that you record the item here. So you go to the quantity column and record the item. So let's look at the item and the quantity. So from here, say five pieces of compact laptop. Okay, that is the quantity. All right. So we go to stage 50 and record five pieces there. Five quantity. You press your tab key. Look for compact laptop. This is compact uh, laptop. This very one compact laptop you click on it because you already have it set up before you have the total of two seven five thousand and the invoice total of two seven five thousand so you can see that the amount is not yet paid if you look at this very amount paid as say boss it is still empty this is where we are going to work on now so with with the information here, if you if you stop here, it means that this is a credit invoice to you. You are owing this money. You have not paid. 
So in order for you to indicate that you are paid, you continue immediately. You continue because it is an immediate payment. You enter the amount there, which is a 275. 275 000. I mean, it's a 30. So you will click on tab key. If you enter the amount here, you press your tab key. Do not use enter key. Press your tab key so that all this information boxes will display. If you do not press your tab key, the inform these boxes, these three other boxes that are displayed here will not come out. Please don't forget if you enter the amount on the inside amount paid at purchase box, you will press tab key, tab button on your computer or, or your laptop. That is what will reveal these other bosses for you. Reference. Reference bosses and also the payment method boss. Okay, let's check what reference we have here. Okay, so we do not have much references here. So, but we know that it is cash uh, purchase. So, let's, re re it is a cash purchase. Pay so, let's continue. Reference, the CH, space, 0, two two one two zero zero one two then payment method cash then cash account that is the account you are paying from is going to be a cash account the account you are paying from you remember you set up account the general ledger account this is it these are the general ledger accounts so this transaction will affect cash or hand this is the office cash that you are set up it will affect cash or hand so when you select office cash then you will you will print or rather you will save okay so this is how to post cash purchases from vendors this is how to post it after you have done this you can now save click on save button and when you save it it will disappear I click on save button, it's already saved and it has disappeared. This is how to post cash purchases in Sage 50. My name is Ojo Isaac. Please share and like our videos. Subscribe to this video so that you will get more videos from us on a daily or weekly basis.